This video is going to be about water and some of its properties. So we know from the video on hydrogen bonding and polar covalent bonds that water is a polar molecule, which means that it has regions of partial positive and partial negative charges, and that allows these water molecules to be able to interact with each other. And so this gives water some unique properties. So the first of those properties is going to be cohesion. So cohesion is the ability of water molecules to stick to one another um, and to maintain that interaction. And so a real world example of this would be if you fill a glass of water all the way to the top and then that little dome of water that forms over the top, which is surface tension. So that's a result of cohesion. And then really similar to cohesion is uh, something called adhesion. So adhesion is different because you're adding a different substance that water can interact with. And so it's easy if you remember that adhesion, you add something other than water uh, to be able to interact with. So the third property of water that we're gonna talk about is um, the temperature regulation that water is capable of doing. And that's because of water's high specific heat. So specific heat uh, is the amount of energy that it takes to raise um, the temperature of a one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius, and water has a very high specific heat. And that's because of these hydrogen bonds right here. So these hydrogen bonds affect the specific heat of water because when you're uh, applying heat to water to try to heat it up, a lot of that initial energy is gonna go into breaking these hydrogen bonds. That way the water molecules are free to actually start moving faster. And when molecules move faster, the temperature increases. But we have to be able to break these hydrogen bonds first for that to even happen. So that's why water has such a high specific heat. And so this is really important in both like the regulation of our global climate with the oceans, but also the regulation of our own body temperature and our blood and other sources of water in our body. So the last property of water that we're gonna talk about is evaporative cooling. So evaporative cooling is a very important concept. We see it every day uh, when we sweat and it cools us down. So what happens is when water is boiling, some of those water molecules are gonna have enough energy to be able to escape from the surface of the water. So when that happens, the molecules that are left behind have less energy, so they're not moving as fast, so they're cooler than the, one that's, the ones that just left. And so like I said, this is really important when we sweat. So when we sweat and that evaporates, it leaves behind cooler, uh, or slower moving water molecules, which we feel as cooler, and it helps to cool us down and keep our body temperature stable. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. Thank you.